God bless you all. It's good to try to understand how Jesus thinks of people. Jesus Christ sees people far differently than we do. Throughout the Gospels, when we're reading the Bible, we see a pattern in the way Jesus taught his disciples. We get a sense of how he thought. Dave here with another video to talk about how we are to respond to our calling when we are in the middle of a crowd. And that crowd is God's children. Let's talk about that for a moment. You see, God wants us to be kind, loving, forgiving, helpful, obedient, honest, and thankful. When we do these things, we are keeping God's commandments. Now, let's talk about what it means to be kind, loving, forgiving, helpful, obedient, honest, and thankful. When we are like this, then we are examples to the multitudes to whom we are to influence according to God's will. We are to be impactful in a crowd according to God's will. Our character and behavior is designed to be an outward expression to influence others instead of us being in solitude. Let's look at Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 through 2. Again, that's Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 through 2. And the scripture says, Now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them. So you see, he went to the side or away or in a place of solitude to speak to his disciples. Think of this. Whenever Jesus saw the multitudes, he would reveal to the disciples what was on his heart for the people. Jesus wanted his disciples to share his love for the people. The disciples did not always understand all he was telling them, but he assured them that later the Holy Spirit would reveal the significance of his words. Let me show you what I mean in terms of how even Jesus himself explained it. If we look at John chapter 14, verse 25 through 26, again, that is John chapter 14, verse 25 through 26. The scripture says, all this I have spoken while still with you, but the advocate, that's the Holy Spirit, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. And again, that's in John chapter 14, verse 25 through 26. When the multitudes began a greater hunger for the word being taught, Jesus would get alone with his disciples and teach them about God's love for people. Remember, that is the language of God. It is love. Think about it. You will experience the same pattern as you walk with Jesus. That's if you do have a real walk with Jesus in the way he intended you in the way of your calling upon your life. When God places you in a crowd, you may sense the Holy Spirit impressing upon you the heart and mind of God for those people. Perhaps your Lord will lead you to a solitary place where he shares with you his compassion for the people you have been with. Speak to God. He may reveal to you his will for the people and invite you to join him in his redemptive activity. Think of that. He may place a burden on your heart to pray for them. If you are among people and are unmoved by their spiritual condition, God may develop your love for them so that you are prepared to minister to them as he desires. The next time you are in a crowd, listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying. 
you may discover that God has much on his heart for those people and that he is waiting for one of his disciples to respond to his prompting. Think of that. From the Resurrection Center, my name is Dave.